It's 8.36. Good morning. Now, as the credit crunch bites, more and more families are being turned out of their homes. And as you'd expect, that's having a terrible impact on the lives of children. More than 130,000 of them in the UK are now without a permanent place to live. And our next guests know exactly how that feels. Uh, Amanda and uh, Daniel have been getting used to life in a hostel. You can see their full story this week in Sofa Surfers on C. BBC. We'll talk to them both in a moment. Good morning, guys. First, let's take a look at the programme. Bringing friends home is not an option for Amanda. Her schoolmates do not even know she is homeless, and Amanda is struggling with the idea of telling them. Is that why it's not good? I'm going to see your grandchildren, all of you, if you don't know. After a fun breakfast, reality bites when Dad makes it clear how much money is in their budget. He used to have thousands to spend. He now only has £40 a week for the three of them to survive. Amanda, okay. budget. What budget? We have £40. Yeah? The house? 25. How much? 25. No, we have only £40. Oh, OK. I don't know. So, I'll pay £10, yeah? Okay. For housing. Yeah? Yeah. So we have £16 for shopping. For shopping today. Um, it's a shock for Daniel, Daniel who's used to a more luxurious lifestyle. Is it strange um, not having money? No, but that's not poor. It's not poor. We still get some money through benefits. Like we, still, we still go shopping, buy lots of things. Are you scared of being homeless? No, I'm not scared. Brave fella. He's here now, along with uh, Amanda and the uh, series producer John Walsh is with us. Hello. Well, good morning. Let me start with you two guys. I mean, particularly difficult for you because actually you've only, you just you were living a, an entirely different life in America, what, a year ago? Yeah. yeah. You lived where? In, in Oregon? Yeah. And a uh, and, and different lifestyle. What was it like there? It's a very really beautiful place. It's really nice and really quiet. And your dad had a business, didn't he? Yeah. Daniel. And what happened to it? Uh, he went to China then. He had some problems. Then he lost, then he had to come back to the UK with nothing. And so. you had nowhere to live? Yeah. So now you're in a hostel. What's that like? Well, it's really, really difficult. Um, I don't really find there's a place that people should leave, like kids. Everyone should have a home and a family together and stay together. Are there, many, are there many other children there as well? Yeah. yeah. Well, your family got split up, didn't it? Yeah. What happened to the other members of your family? Um, they're back in Nigeria, and but my dad's is trying to get on his business, so he can get my sisters and my mum back over. So. Mm, so your mum and your sisters are in Nigeria, and you're the two of you are in the hostel with your yeah. with your dad. Yeah. And, and as Amanda says, uh, children shouldn't have to be living without a permanent roof over their heads, really. And yet, as we've just heard that statistic, 130,000 are currently living in the UK without a permanent home. I presume that's what sort of spurred you to, to make the, the programme in the first place. That Yes, absolutely. I mean, I made a series five years ago for BBC Two, following homeless people from the street back to the shop floor. We recognised there was a gap, you know, there wasn't a voice for children. So when I had the opportunity to pitch to Children's BBC, they, you know, they thought it was a good idea. But at the time, the credit crunch hadn't really taken effect. And that figure of 130,000 is some research that was compiled up to the end of last year. So we suspect the figure is going to be a lot higher at the end of this year. And you're looking, of course, at the impact that it has and uh, through the lives of uh, Amanda and her brother here. But what have you found in terms of the, the psychological impact it is having on kids? Well, the interesting thing, and I think the thing that comes through in all of the episodes and all of the contributors, because Amanda and Daniel are just episode two, there's different families in each episode, mm. is that all of the children are quite robust. So if, if, if the three of us was to lose our, our homes today and we had to live in a hostel, we might find it quite difficult to maintain working life and, and social arrangements. But all of these children that take part in the series are maintaining normality. They're still going to school, they're still performing well, they, can, they still have to do what mum and dad says at home. But mm. do you talk about being homeless? I mean, can you tell your friends at school that, uh, of the situation that you're, you're in? Do you find that easy? Mom? Yeah, most yeah. of my friends in school, no, but not everyone. But you had a really, yes. so you didn't tell them for, for quite a while, did yeah, you? Yeah, I did didn't you? Tell And why, why did you hold back? Um, it's just really difficult, I guess. Like, it's really different and kind of hard telling people that you were this before and now you're this. Mm. They may look down on you, but I don't really care about that anymore. How were they, though, when you told them? Um, they were really, they were really nice. They didn't, like, change or anything. They just stayed the same. What do you miss most, Daniel? Mm, I really miss my sisters. Yeah. 
And will you, when will you get to see them? Mm, maybe next month. Yeah, it's obviously very difficult for you. Has your dad managed to find a job or is he trying to set up a new yeah. business now? Or? Um, he's trying to. He's doing some business right now, so we're still waiting for. Yes, yeah, very difficult. And just the numbers are extraordinary, aren't they, John? 130. Yeah. Thousand what help children. Is, yeah, what help is being given then? Um, well, all of our, our children are in different sort of housing situations, so emergency housing, temporary housing, and in the case of Amanda and Daniel, they're in hostel accommodation. So the help is there. You know, one of the reasons this series was commissioned was so that children who are going to be becoming homeless this year have at least a sense of what can happen to them. So they're not going to be on the streets, they're not going to have to grow a long beard and have a dog on a string, which is often the perception children have, but there is help available. You know, all of the children that take part in this series find that there is help out there. And even if you're living in a hostel, you know, it means you can still eat well and you still have to go to school. Right. But um, I think the concern is going to be the system, can it cope if there's more than 130,000? Yes. And I think yeah. the real test will be over the, over the next sort of 12 months. All right, John, thank you very thank you. much indeed. Thank you both Thanks, very much. Good, Good luck. luck to you and your dad yeah. as well. And yeah. can I say, very smartly dressed this morning. So yes. Yeah. Really fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, well, you, you can, can catch, catch it. What's it called? First Surfers all this week on CBBC Digital Channel at 6.30.